Working at a bar is like taking an economics class or getting a full-on MBA. The book is about all the things that we've learned working in bars for years and how to apply them in the digital world or really in any part of the world. That's what makes this book so special is that, you know, you can go to business school and you should if you want to, but sit at a bar for a week or a month or a year and you're going to see all the problems that you'll see in the regular business world and they'll come at you really fast. Hi, I'm Dan Macaron. And I'm Bob Sullivan, and we are the authors of The Barstool MBA. We have a chapter called Don't Drink at Your Own Bar. Right. Which is an old saying, which is true, you shouldn't get drunk at your own bar, kinda. But what we really mean is... You are not the audience. You're not the customer. Yeah, we say that to our clients all the time. You are not the customer. You might be a customer, but you're not the customer. And anyone who opens a bar, anyone who starts a business, needs to understand that they are not the person who's going to be using it. Are you actually creating something that the world needs? And for the most part, most people aren't. They open a bar from themselves. They open the bar that they want, not the bar that is needed. So I think anybody who's thinking about doing something kind of crazy should listen to this book. Kind of crazy? Kind of crazy. Like opening a bar is kind of crazy. Like doing that startup you've always dreamed about is kind of crazy. If you're in that place in life right now where whatever you're doing is not quite enough for you and you want to take a leap, this is a book really about taking a leap. Being able to listen to stories, like your stories from behind the drum kit, I hope, hopefully my stories from behind the bar, but also from watching and being a part of these startups that we've all heard of, is so much more entertaining. Uh, and a business book that's entertaining to me, like I want that. I want to listen to that any day of the week. I have a secret agenda with this book, which you know about. This is a secret love letter to the service industry. There are two million people who work in bars and restaurants in America. Most of them work their butts off every day trying to make people happier or a little bit better. I have dreams. Everyone who's a waiter or bartender has dreams. They want to own their own bar or start their own business or whatever. And I'm here to tell you that you are in as good a position to do that as anyone who has a big fancy degree. Service workers are the, like the guts of America in a lot of ways, and I love what they do, and I respect what they do, and I want them to read this book. We would like you to toast through the lens with us. <laughs> oh, oh. Bring, grab your glass and listen to us. Just threw up my mouth twice. <laughs>